Hi, this is Marcel again with another tip when it comes to removing uh, bearing walls. Uh, I'm up in an attic right now and the homeowner wishes to remove a wall and keep a flush ceiling. Uh, this is a bearing wall and a clear indication of that is that the joists themselves, you'll see the end of one and how they are spliced right there on that wall plate. One way to uh, span this entire distance to remove the wall is to do what this contractor has done here and install a beam over the joists and hang them with little tw twist straps. Now the key to this is going to be the bearing conditions. Now in this case, um, they've gone to the end, however they had to, um, I don't know if you can see that, but they've had to chamfer the beam to almost nothing. Uh, you want to make sure that you have proper bearing so what we'll have to do is come on the inside of that and come to this joist and install blocking and studs down um, so that you have enough bearing at the end of the beam or enough meat at the end of the beam to properly transfer it down to the foundation. Uh, right now uh, this is kind of we're supporting the joist to the beam but we're not properly supporting the beam down to the foundation. Um, so there's uh, another little tip as far as, uh, you know, an option to remove a bearing wall.